Hey guys, uh, Curious Creatures asked me to do another video, um, so I thought I'll give you a treat. Um, and today we've got the new boy, he is blue, and he is a West African Green Mamba Dendroaspis viridis. Now, as, as I've told you before, I am autistic, and um, my theory side isn't the greatest. Um, so I have got stuff written down there and I'll, you'll probably see me referring to that quite a bit. Um, I'm just a snake keeper, I'm a hobbyist. Uh, the theory side, I'll leave up to the scientists guys, but I enjoy keeping them. Uh, but this guy's blue, he's a West African Green Mamba, Dendro Aspis Viridis. He's two and a half years old and he's around about six and a bit foot. Um, these guys, that's usually about average for a Green Mamba. Uh, but they have been known to get up to 7.9 feet at, 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 the, at the biggest day. Um, so they do have the potential to like, get quite big, but in captivity they usually max out around 2 metres, 2 metres long. Uh, they're from West Africa, um, where they inhabit tropical rainforest, thicket and woodland like regions. Um, they range from Gambia to southern Senegal and uh, there is it Benin and there's other places as well but I can't pronounce them. Uh, the beauty of being Scottish, I don't know how you say it. Eh? Um, let me see. They're mostly diurnal, which uh, means that they hunt during the day. Sometimes active at night as well though. Um, these guys are mainly arboreal, they'll sit up in the trees and they'll hunt out bird nests. They're mainly bird eaters, but they have been known to eat bird eggs, they'll eat bats, squirrels, lizards, toads, stuff like that. Obviously rodents, um, they will go down to the ground and hunt if need be. Um, but yeah, mainly bird eaters, they'll spend a lot of their time up in the trees basking. As you can see, he's super slender and he's just built for speed, he's built for gliding through those trees. Eh? The colour as well, it just it just blends right in. Now the venom on these guys contains presynaptic, postsynaptic neurotoxins, cardiotoxins, and I oh, can't say this word, fasciolians or something like that. Um, the venom toxicity in them uh, could vary tremendously. This all comes down to their diet, their geographical range. Um, age dependent as well and there's other factors as well. Um, if bitten, um, you can get local pain, swelling, although this one's rare you can get some localised necrosis, um, ataxia, headache, drowsiness, difficulty breathing, vertical, hypertension, low, low blood pressure, diarrhoea, dizziness and paralysis. If left untreated, um, even more severe symptoms could um, occur rapidly and you'll die of suffocation due to the loss of use of your respiratory, respiratory trap, due to paralysis. Um, what else have I got written there? They can kill you in as little as 30 minutes. Um, but if you go into anaphylactic shock, um, anaphylaxis could kill you a lot, a lot quicker. Um, as you can see, or like, as you know, I've called him blue. Now, the reason I call him blue is because he's got this blue sheen all the way through him. It's like anti blue. Um, so even before I even thought of a name for this guy, blue came to mind, eh? so I just called him blue. Um, as you can see, the scales are very prominent on him. Um, he's not, the greens aren't as toxic as the black mamba, the black mamba is the most toxic of all the mambas and it's also the longest. Um, but the greens nonetheless are still highly venomous. Um, I'm pretty sure that they've got a component in their venom called dendrotoxin, um, which is only found in mambas, dendrospis. Um, this guy in captivity. He eats mainly chicks. Um, he's no took it out for me yet. I've only had him since last month. And when he first came here, 
Um, he wouldn't eat, he had to like settle in and stuff like that. Um, then he went into the shed. Now, I don't know if this is the same with all members, but he takes ages to shed. He took absolutely ages. Um, and now he is eating, so that's a good thing. Um, an interesting fact. Mamba musk smells like curry powder, even when they poo it could sometimes smell like curry. So if you live in Africa and you think you've got a mamba loose in your house, if you smell curry, it's a good indication that there's possibly a mamba living in your house. Um, this guy is currently in a 4x2x2.5 vivarium. Um, I've got perches midway because he spends a lot of time just sitting up on the perch. He's got his basking lamp and the heat in there is kept about 30 degrees. Um, this guy is around about six and a half feet. Uh, this is my second video by the way. Um, you now I don't know what to talk about. I've done a video just there and when I went to give you a close up of the snake I deleted it. So now I'm trying to work out what to say. <laughs> uh, Mambas are very twitchy. Um, it pays to be nice and slow with these guys, any fast movements can set them off. Um, they are quite twitchy. Uh, the reason he's up on the rim of the bucket is because he's a mamba, he's arboreal. Um, they like to be up high. Um, if I put them on the ground they become flighty and they just automatically try and look for somewhere to climb. Um, oh god, what else to say? What else to say? That I don't know guys. Um, I just thought I'd give you a treat. This is the newest guy. I was going to do a Taipan video. Um, but this guy is eating now. He's ate twice for me now. So I thought, yeah, why not? We'll do a lamb of it. And he's a beautiful looking snake. Um, God, my last video lasted up to 15 minutes. And that's me about six minutes into this second video, second take. And I'm running out of things to say. God. Um, as you know, I am autistic. Eh? I've said that before. Eh? I've got Asperger's syndrome um, so on the autistic spectrum. So my theory side isn't that great. It doesn't matter how much I read something. It just goes in one ear and out the other. However, my observation skills are through the roof. Um, so when it comes to snake behaviour, how the snake's feeling, how the snake's going to act, I am completely on the ball with that, guys. It's because I'm autistic as well, um, that is heightened a bit. So I know if the snake's relaxed, I know if the snake's tense. Um, as you can see, I'm not as hands-on with this guy as I was the King Cobra. Um, this is a new snake, they are very twitchy. Uh, the King Cobra, I've had him when he was a kid. Um, and he screwed up with me, I know everything about that snake, I know when he's annoyed, what I can and can't do, and I know for a fact that he's not interested in mine. Uh, this guy, I could touch him, as you can see, I could touch him. Uh, still, if he wants to come closer up to me, I don't mind, I'll let him have a sniff, but I'm not as up close and personal with the guy, because I don't know the snake, every snake is different. Um, but so far this guy's proven quite straightforward to work with. Stick him on the rim of the bucket and away you go. Um, but I'm watching my time. Um, what I'll do is I'll come over, I'll get the phone, I will try not to delete the video this time. And I'll give you guys a close up look at him. As you can see I've got to be slow, he's watching. They're very intelligent snakes. Right, so this time it is recording nicely, so we'll go and we'll have a close-up look at him. Right, mambas are just built for speed, but this is blue. As you can see, he's just chilling out there, happy. You can probably see that he's flattening his neck a little bit. This is a typical mamba threat display. They don't always do it. Um, but sometimes they will hood the neck. Um, he might gape, he could hiss. If he felt extremely threatened, he would S up and he would strike repeatedly. 
Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, you can probably make out the blues through them. Hence why I called them blue. Close up of the scales here. But isn't he an absolutely gorgeous snake? Uh, you get the Western Green Mamba, you get the Eastern Green Mamba, there's the Jameson's Mamba, and there's also the Black Mamba. The Black Mamba obviously being the longest, they can get up to 9 foot, and they're the most toxic. But the Green Mambas certainly do have the looks. Beautiful snakes. Um, I did have an Eastern Green Mamba before. Um, in my collection, he was just lime green. As you can see, this guy, the scales are very, very, very prominent. Um, I've seen these guys, these are Green Mambas, and I've seen some that are more or less blue, and I've seen some that are more or less silver. Uh, I don't know if that's a morph. Or I don't know if it's normal. I have no idea. So if anybody would like to give me a shout and let me know, that would be bra. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's happy just to sit and chill out. And there he's there. But yeah, this is blue. But yeah guys, my time is running out. Um, my time is running out guys. Um, so, yeah, as I always say, please do not try this at home. Um, just leave that to me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and maybe a comment. And... Hopefully I could do another video for you guys soon. Um, please guys, if you don't like the videos and you don't like what I'm doing, please just simply don't watch them, it's easy. Um, but guys, stay safe amongst all this madness and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Peace.